Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. As I've uh, mentioned on a few videos, backup and uh, data storage is one of the subjects that I'm uh, really interested in, particularly from a video production standpoint, because I have a very sort of long-term uh, outlook on my uh, on my video producing efforts. So um, I've talked on a couple of videos about various backup and storage configurations for video. Um, I've mentioned that what I do personally is I have an NAS running on my network, a Synology NAS, and I periodically dump some stuff, some stuff, not all of it, onto uh, cold storage, which in other words is not kept running on the NAS. In other words, it's your classic what's called data in a closet. It's just sitting on a shelf or, you know, wherever. It's not connected to a device. Now, the problem with uh, cold storage versus live storage like an NAS that has RAID running is that the data is susceptible to bit rot. In other words, if you just leave data sitting on a magnetic storage medium like hard drive, over time, if it's not powered on, the data is going to uh, inevitably degrade and um, storage systems like NES's have technology for fixing and alerting about bad sectors and stuff like that so that you can avoid this fate. Nevertheless, I was wondering for quite some time, well, are there hard drive is kind of for the most cost-effective archiving storing medium uh, because you know there are technologies such as LTO and uh, even optical drives that are suitable for archiving but for your average person who doesn't want to go out and buy themselves an LTO writer which is a very expensive piece of gear um, are there hard drives specifically for this purpose so the best source of information for anyone else into this kind of stuff, storage and backup and all that, is this subreddit called Data Hoarder. Really, really good subreddit for people who uh, think along these lines about protecting their data. Um, and I found a thread, I just searched Reddit for, uh, I actually searched Google for best hard drive for archiving. Um, and I found this thread here, best, best hard disk to archive bracket store in a closet. So this is exactly uh, what I'm talking about. Now this thread is a few years old, actually five years old, but it's uh, probably I reckon applicable today. Anyway, the, the, the OP or the poster asks, well, what's the best um, storage? Are there any type of specifically a type of hard drive that is better than others for archival storage, uh, the classic sitting in a closet case? Um, so this uh, poster recommends magnetical optical media, which I had not come across before. Um, pretty interesting, but again, requires a special writer. This uh, poster, um, Adam Poke 111, I love reading our Reddit usernames because they're so random. He says, Seagate's archive drives would be good for this. Very big storage density and reasonable prices too, but there's a reason. They use SMR, sh shingled magnetic recording which means as it's writing data to the disk, it actually partially overlaps the data currently on the tracks. These are the kind of people you'll find on Reddit. They just like know so much about specialized topics. This means write speeds are rather slow, but read speeds are essentially no different. So this would be perfect for archival where you don't really intend to read the disk, but you just want to write stuff. So, um, uh, so, but for archive, these are perfect as you're not going to be constantly accessing them. So this, um, this, uh, comment here, thank you to Adam Polk, uh, Pokey111, got me aware of the fact that there exists, uh, such things as archival hard drives and he links out to a few of these products on Amazon UK. I guess he's based in, uh, the UK, but, um, I just wanted to show how to find these things. So I just typed into, uh, Amazon archive HDD and you'll find here, for instance, you'll find a few of these um, AE da data center archives. So there is across different manufacturers, Seagate, WD, this one is renewed. So let's go for a new product. Um, this one looks okay to me. It's $229 and it's Seagate Ar Archive HDD. That's an eight terabyte uh, volume for 229. So my last video, I. I did a video about the uh, ultra large capacity hard drives currently in the market, which reach up to 20 terabytes and whether they're, you know, actually cheaper on a per terabyte basis than the one terabyte. So the answer is yes, they are. So this is definitely more expensive, but this one is specialized for, you can see the first line here, it says for archive use only. Um, so I do not know that these things exist. I'm very glad that I do now because uh, for what I'm planning to use for long-term on-the-shelf video storage, uh, this is like the perfect 
tool for the job and it talks about the various technologies, reliable data retrieval for cold data storage. So this is a specific type of hard drive that's actually intended for cold state storage versus being used on an NES. And I, I imagine they are can be used on an NES, uh, but you're better off using ones that have uh, normal write speeds if you're if because you, you already have that protection from rate. But if you want to do cold storage, there are there is such a thing as archive HDD. For those who prefer to order from uh, from New Egg, I just thought I'd run uh, the search term archive HDD in here too. And again, it's not a huge product category. I guess these things are less in use nowadays. But you can see options for from you know the kind of major names in storage like uh, Seagate and from uh, uh, this is Seagate again. So it looks like Seagate is the main company doing these. But you have here, uh, for instance, uh, Seagate Archive HDD. Um, six gigabit per second max uh, read or read speeds, uh, 3.5 inch form factor. So it's a typical hard drive except for the internal mechanics on it that is designed to uh, store data uh, cold and thus the uh, read speeds will be fine but the write speeds will be slower. And this particular one comes, in, comes up to eight terabyte uh, capacity and uh, I'm guessing if you played around with the search terms uh, that you could probably find um, bigger capacity ones. But in any event, eight terabytes is quite a lot of storage and uh, you know you could fill up a whole case full of these. And um, I don't know exactly how long, if there's any guarantees as to how long these guys can sit cold without bit rot. But I guess if you're looking to protect bit rot and store data cold, it would make abundant sense to use the hard drive that is actually intended for that purpose rather than a random HDD uh, that you know is designed, could be designed for sitting in an actual computer. So um, I'm really glad to find out about these. I'm probably gonna buy, uh, I buy a couple when I'm over in the US this summer to store cold my long-term uh, video. And I, for cold storage, I use it for like stock footage and B-roll and uh, raw shoots and stuff like that. So um, this is, these things exist. You can find them on the usual tech retailers. And uh, thank you to Reddit and thank you to Data Hoarder for uh, alerting me to their existence.